Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a quick overview of my Strife. Yeah, I did a thing. I'm going to plug in the LiPo. Fun fact, LiPo actually stands for Lithium Polymer Battery. For the heck of it, I'm going to plug in the voltage alarm. It works. We know that much. The voltage alarm. This is a freshly balanced charged lipo. Stuff it. Get it. That probably needs to go there. Yeah, that's healthy. Maybe I should have done all this before. I could use this time to tell you what's actually in the blaster. Um, it is currently running off of 3S using Kraken motors. A Grihas gear. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. A medium expanded battery door. Actually, let's start with the motor assembly. It's running Kraken's a... Open Flywheel Project 42mm cage, and it's a Morpheus cage. I need to remember to say that. And it is 42mm Open Flywheel Project Morpheus cage and Cyclone Flywheels. So it hits relatively hard. It also has a Select Fire Kit in it and Jace 3D Flared Magwheel and Extended Magazine Release. Here's the expanded battery door. Just gonna show you the profile. And you can see in there where the flywheel cage is, and you can see the metal guide. And it's a it goes to about here. The guide does. Alright, the select fire kit requires you to boot it up, so you hold down the magazine release until the screen says on. Like that, and then it will boot up from a number. And it is now booted up. It's very interesting noise. Single fire. Three round burst. And we have a jam. Because of course we have the jam. We have eight darts left, so I'm going to Hopefully rattle those off in full auto. The red fire is indeed quite high. Let's grab that real quick and run it through my chrono barrel and see what it's hitting. a standard modulus elite dart. That one was 143.1. Let's grab a few more darts. Let's not get any FVJs. This was not designed to accompany FVJs at all. A 42 millimeter cage. You need at least a 43 with Standard crush, I believe. And these are not by any means good darts either. But they are real world darts. I'm just going into my dart bin. FBJs will completely jam up the system and do bad things to your system. So don't put an FBJ through here if you can help it. Or actually, don't put an FBJ through here at all. 
let's put 10 rounds through it real quick. And this is just a general mix of different elite darts. There's a couple of zombie strikes in there. I have dart detection turned on. Why is dart detection turned on? So let's run through 10 darts real quick. In single fire. Now we'll read out. One thirteen point three. One thirty two point five. One twenty one point eight. One twenty one point five. One thirty four point two. 103.3 128.1 And those last three were 127, 130, and 135 right in at and around that area. So it will most definitely clear a 150 war. And like I said, these are by no means good darts. Point three. So we'll definitely clear a 150 cap. Now, the thing is, let's talk about the parts for a minute. Let's turn off the slide real quick. It will not rev and it will not fire. I'll hold it right here. So let's go over the components. It's a, like I said, it's a 42 millimeter open flywheel project Morpheus cage. That probably does not help the FPS, but it supposedly increases accuracy, so accuracy is good. How much? I don't know. I don't have a normal cage running at these velocities to test. It's a non-canted cage. It's a straight cage running cyclone flywheels and Kraken, out of birds Kraken motors. Links will be in the description to all of these components that I'm naming out. The Select Fire Kit, which is a version 6.5, it does not have a rev trigger option, but I don't actually miss it as much as I thought I would. The Jace 3D parts, I was originally using a Jace 3D low profile expanded battery door. I don't know where it is, it might be in here. Here it is. But it was just too small to accompany the battery I was using. Nothing wrong with it, it's very nice actually. Actually, it's a bit nicer than this one. I would say, and they're very different colors, but the Greyhouse gear is a bit bigger. This gives 13 millimeter additional clearance and seven. This is really just to accompany wiring. So I will leave a link to both the Jace 3D expanded battery door and the Greyhouse gear one. I'll also leave a link to the motors, cages, and flywheels on Out of Darts' new website in the description. The Select Fire Kit, like I said, is a version 6.5. I thought I, I actually thought I had the rate of fire tuned down more than I did. And it's very, it's relatively easy to alter the rate of fire. This is a selfie camera, so that's why everything's backwards. But if we hold down this button, it'll bring us into a menu. And that says speed, and I have it cranked all the way up, actually. I like to keep it around 40, as it's a nice steady rate of fire. Now it's 25, now it's too low. It is a slightly more manageable rate of fire. Grab six, 
Let's use some waffle head darts. I do not like these darts. Let's grab six of these. The rate of fire is completely variable. And if this had brushless motors, it'd essentially be an FDL. But it doesn't have brushless motors, so it's not really not. So it's in full auto. Now I'm just going to dump a six round magazine. So, what else is in this? That's it. The I, It's, of course, running a 3S LiPo inside the door. And uh, the flared Magwell and extended magazine noise. It's personal taste. If you want a vector kit, you obviously... Alright, sorry, I got a phone call there, so this will be... I don't know exactly where it cut off but this will get stitched together. So that is why it is, um, there's a stitching. This is an explanation. Anyway, uh, where was I? This is really personal opinion. If you want a vector kit, obviously you won't be able to use it, but it does indeed speed up reloads, as opposed to having it not there. Of course, if you train, it's less of an issue. And obviously all this stuff is adding width. The board adds width, the door adds width, these add width, the flared mag the extended magazine release doesn't really. But the flared mag well, I don't see these used all that often, which is why I wanted one. And I quite like it. It's very nice print. You can barely tell it's 3D printed. I mean you can, obviously. But Jace made it very nice. And the extended magazine release is, again, personal preference. If you don't like it, don't get it. If you do like it, knock yourself out. Oh, we're warning you, his shipping is... All of his prices are in Australian dollars instead of U.S. dollars. So you have to keep that in mind. His prices are going to be slightly cheaper. It costs about $18 flat rate USD shipping, though. And these parts, again, are in Australian. So between, the, between this door... Well, and the magazine release. That's all I got. And also they included the thumb screw, which I still use because it's very nice. Nothing worse than having to use a screwdriver. But um, his prices are his ship. His prices are very reasonable, but the shipping rates are a little insane. This. Battery doors from Gree Husker. Like I said, he he sent me a bunch of neat stuff, including a keychain, a button, and a sticker. Out of Darb sends you stickers, but he sent me this neat little printed keychain. Let's get it right here. It's a little strife with his initials on it. Gree Husker. Again, selfie camera, so it's backwards, and it's just a keychain. It's a 3D print strife. He sells them, but he sent me that one, which I thought was neat. And like I said, everything is adding bulk. The select fire kit adds bulk here and here. It's just something to get caught. The flared magwell, the battery door. It's not a great sidearm because it does stick out quite a bit. You might go with a stock strife or maybe a 2S semi-auto build. Because the way the select fire kit's engineered, you can't actually cut out the battery housing. So there's no extra room other than the stock trip. It is, it's a good strife. It's, not, it hasn't broke yet. I was having a problem with the pusher not fully returning. I'm not sure if I'm overloading this battery or not, because the voltage line keeps going up. And if I just point and pull... Um, I do get 70 FPS. So if I need to, I can just go... And it is a good, solid blaster.
And other than that, it's a, it's a strife. Other than the cosmetic pieces, if you can call them cosmetic, cosmetic and performance. Do I need the flared my glow? No, I don't really. Do I need the slug fire kit? No, not really. But I wanted to build a. It's not what I would consider a tier zero strength. Again, no paint job. It's brushed. It's not even running 180s, it's still running 130s. But this is about as far as you can take a strife without going brushless or 180s. Overall. Because these are the best 3S1, these are the, really the best 130 motors on the market right now. Worker came out with the new motors and I'm thinking about upgrading. I may not. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I don't think I'm going to have any real issues with this blaster. But... It's nice. You can look at most of these parts and you can tell. Most of them is personal opinion. If you like the look of this battery housing and if it'll fit your battery, go for it. He also sells a small one that's a little bit smaller than this one. I really liked this one. I will admit, I loved this battery housing. Because it is so thin. But the green gear one fits my battery, and it's relatively sleek. And, of course, it's a strife, so you can throw a stock on it. I may film a additional... I may film an additional firing demonstration. I probably will. And put that in. So, yeah, that's now. Alright, so here's the lowdown. I've been trying to film this segment for like three times because my phone kept dying. So, here's what's happening. Wall, about 25 feet away. First off, I'm on maximum rate of fire. 110. I don't know why it's 110. It's a weird oddball number, but it is on 110. So I'm going to dump this 12-hour magazine and make sure it's in full auto. Uh, that's one of the problems I had one time is I forgot it was in full auto. It wasn't in full auto. So, we're in full auto. Well, about 25 feet away. I'm going to dump it 12-round magazine, because it's the best feeding magazine I have. Then I'm going to switch down to 40, which is the rate of fire I like to keep it at. I'm going to load in a 25-round drum. I'm going to do some single fire, some burst, and some fully automatic. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on. So, I'm going to fire at the wall, first with the 12-round magazine, and then in real time switch to 40 rate of fire and switch to the 25-round drum. All right, here we go. I have a jam. This is crappy. On the 12th dart, of course. Alright, back in a minute. Right, so I have the 25 round drum loaded, and now I'm going to switch to 40 rate of fire starting now. The biggest problem is getting into the menu. Alright, into the menu. Adjusting the rate of fire. Maybe not too far. Nope, perfect. Alright, we're at 40 now. Alright, so I'm going to start with some single fire at the wall. A couple of three round bursts. And now I'm just going to dump the rest of the magazine. And my battery may be getting a bit low. Alright, so that was two segments because uh, I had to go to jam. So, yeah. I don't think it was the motor's lack of torque. I think it was just uh, a bad, a dart got in there the wrong way and it decided not to feed properly. It was kind of the Morpheus guide's fault because I think it caught on the guide. But other than that, it's good. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to go give you my conclusion on this blaster and the parts. And this is getting very heavy. Anywho, this is the blaster as I used it. Just climbed up two flights of stairs. Um, no barrel. I will leave a link to the phone mount in the description and also the worker stock because of why not. More people notice, more people may give me a sponsorship.
sponsor. Because this was not cheap. So the flywheel assembly was about $50. These were about $50. This door is about $20. Stock was about $20. This came out to about $5. And the kit was about $50. So it's not a cheap blaster as is. Not to mention everything else I would run it in a war with. But that is for another time. Hmm. But I definitely run it with this stock. Probably not this fun mount because it's not very good. Because the slightest bit of movement and it just falls over. And this is a standard size iPhone and it barely fits. And so the new iPhone probably won't fit. But the blaster performed well. I don't think it had any faults of its own making. The battery door is a bit intrusive, but that's what you get with expanded battery doors. The stock is very nice. The select fire kit works. I don't miss the rev trigger as much as I thought I would. I tried to get a replacement. This is the replacement. They sent me the replacement, and it did not come with a rev trigger option. So, yeah. As you can see, it's relatively easy to adjust the rate of fire. Also, just by clicking up, you can see your current voltage. This is, of course, coming from the XT60 connector on the battery. So it's not as accurate as if it was from the balance connector. But that would be a huge pain in the butt to build in. So, yeah. I am running it with a voltmeter. You may have heard it go off a few times. And while I don't... Th I bought this battery of Hobby King. I will provide a link if possible. I don't think they sell it with an XT60. It's right on the edge of um, XT60... Or the small red connector. I actually think it's called a Dean's connector. Hmm. But this is obviously a 3S battery. And uh, I will leave a link to the Voltage Alarm on Out of Darts' website. Or I may just leave a link to Out of Darts' website because I'm lazy like that. But it is a Turnigy, I'll read it to you since it's backwards. It's a Turnigy Nanotech 850 milliamp hour 45 to 90 C discharge. Very important, make sure you get proper discharge. 3S LiPo battery. And it will fit into a Strife tray. And with the expanded battery cover, it will not fit into a stock tray with a stock door. It won't fit into a stock tray with an extreme low profile door. But it will fit with it with this door. And again, link to this will be below. I am absolutely loving this door. Not as much as the Jace 3D one, but Hey, this one works. So. Yep, now I'm going to do something. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and check out the links in the description if you want any of this neat stuff for yourself. It does not help me in any way. I've not contacted any of these sellers. I purchased all of this stuff, and, uh, well, other than the keychain. But, I did purchase all of this stuff. I get no kickback from you using the links, so I don't care if you go search for it. If you... I don't care if you buy from Jace 3D or Out of Darts, but definitely do because they're good companies and good people. Um, so I will leave a link to everything in the description box below. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on this schedule in, in three months.